Keep your question. They're very soft. Hey! Oh. Hello everyone, it is me, Ayla, here today with the Unapologetic Nomads, and we are at the Makuni Big Five Safaris. And we are here with the Marketing Operations Manager, Paul. Hi guys, welcome to Makuni Big Five. Good to have you here. So what we're going to do, I won't take up much of your time, because I know you're not here for me. I'm not that appealing. You're here for the animals, right? So I'm going to introduce you to Nicholas. He's in charge of um, running a... The animal section part of it I do the marketing and operations now Nicholas does the animals so if you have any questions do with lions that is Nicholas there hey Hi, good morning hello I'm Nicholas the uh, site supervisor at Mbundi Tai Safaris in charge of the animal welfare so anything pertaining to the animals please feel free to find out more from me Challenge him, ask him Thank the tricky you. questions. Yeah. All right. All right. So without wasting much of your time, we're going to move on uh, okay. to the reception area. So this is just then what we do. Okay. So when we receive guests to come to the parking lot, we go through that area to the reception area. We sign indemnities. We have a brief talk. So obviously you have to sign an indemnity here because you're signing your life away. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. But uh, let's go. All right. Cool. Yeah, so we're going to the reception right now. You can see it's very beautiful out here, family. We have uh, a lot of nice, lovely looking flowers and plants and things like that. All right, let me try to slow down so we can get a good view of everything. Very nice. Man. So, Nicholas. What kind of animals will we be seeing today? The kind of animals we'll be seeing today are the cheetahs, uh, the lions, mm. and the caracals. Oh. So we we'll have about um, 23 lions in total of different sizes, uh -huh. which we'll, of course, keep in different enclosures. We have two cheetahs, mm. and then we have three caracals. Nice. So those are basically the animals that you're going to be watching today. This is such a nice place. Do you have, is this like a restaurant? We are planning to come up with a restaurant at uh, alternative, but our reception is further down this way. Okay. Man, so how do you like that beautiful garden? That was gorgeous. I was getting every uh, <laughs> okay, clip of so, it. <laughs> our reception. Uh, you people, uh, feel free to uh, make yourselves comfortable. Okay. Sure. Thank you, boss. Man, look at this view. See everything up here. This is pretty. Hmm. Let's be the river. Yeah, that's pretty. Hmm, this is so nice. So, how do you feel about uh, meeting the animals? I'm excited. I love lions and I want to pet them. Yes. You can see the Zambezi River from here, you see it? Okay, so that's the Zambezi River. I forgot to mention, we also do a run and volunteer program. Here. Okay. Yes, so it's about conservation, so we have people coming in from anywhere from between a week to a month. Okay. These are the chalets, so... Yes, I'm going to ask you the chalets. Yeah. Okay, so you have the chalets. So we're working on the chalets, we're changing them, so there's the, the volunteer program hasn't run because of COVID, of course. Probably. Okay. But then, recently we did get some people. So with the volunteer program, what are, we, what are they doing? We so they, 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 they work with the guides. It's, it's okay. like... Um, it's like just any volunteer program, so they come here, they stay here, they learn about the animals, uh, we teach survival skills, we do uh, village tours, we go into the village, take them to the village, oh, kind of, nice. uh, just kind of uh, uh, see what goes on in a typical African village, there's one just down the road from here, about maybe four miles down this mm. way, that's where Chief Mukuni is. 
So, and then apart from that, it's just work generally. They yeah. work with the guys, they feed the animals, clean the pans, and all mm. that. Whatever these guys do, they do. Nice. So, it's quite exciting. So, what like do you have to do to be a volunteer? Like, how do you do that? Um, there's a website. Uh, we are through our website or through sending email directly to me. Okay. Um, what people do is normally they'll contact me either through email or my WhatsApp number, my uh -huh. personal WhatsApp number, or my business WhatsApp number. Uh, we give you the rates. Uh, we send letters to for immigration for the purpose of uh, visa processing. Because uh -huh. when you come in as a volunteer, mm -hmm. you're not coming on a visitor's visa. Yeah. You're not a tourist. Uh -huh. You're volunteering, so uh -huh. it's kind of work. Okay. So there's a temporary work permit that is issued. So I do letters to immigration and all that just to make the process a lot easier. Nice. So they stay with us. And basically, it's just everything is inclusive. Meals, laundry, whatever mm. you can think of. It's home away from home. Mm. Free nice. internet. <laughs> yeah, nice. Because we, mm. we don't have like, we have TVs here, but they're for a purpose. Yeah. Just to show our activities. I mean, you're not going to. There's no cable, TV, or anything mm -hmm. like that. So nice. We give them internet so they can browse as much as they want. Nice. Yeah. You know the women always got to shop. Good morning. How are you, sis? Good morning. How are you? My I'm name is great. Audrey. Audrey. I'm Michelle. It is a pleasure to meet you. And you're an elephant girl like me. I am an elephant. <laughs> elephant is my favorite animal. Mine too. Oh. Yes. Oh. Mine too. I am the elephant. Ah. Timber is an elephant. Mm. Love it. Yes. Oh, love so it. you are welcome to our shop, Michelle. Thank you. Uh, feel free to look around. Huh. And sir, how are you? I'm doing very good. <laughs> okay, I'm yes. doing cool. And you're also welcome to our shop. Thank, Thank you. So good to be in this shop. All these things you're seeing here in this shop, they are done from the village. Mm. Yes, all the carvings are done from the village. Mm. There's a group of people who normally do all these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we cannot get these things from another country. We get them from here because we want to support our traditional. Mm. Nice, yes. beautiful. When we come to our earrings, uh -huh. they are also done here. This is a chitenge. It's a chitenge yes. material which material. we use for the earrings. This is hood. It is done on the earrings as well. Also want to pres to put Africa in front of us mm -hmm. to make earrings with an African yes. uh, chef. Nice. Yes. Also to put our copper as well. Mm -hmm. This is uh, one of our minerals we have here in Zambia, mm -hmm. which makes us. At least you also find this on our flag of Zambia. Mm -hmm. This is copper ring. We have copper bracelets. Okay. Also, we have the copper rings. Now, this looks interesting. What is yes. this? Uh, this is an elephant hair bracelet. Mm -hmm. This is the hair from the tail of the elephant. We make our bracelets out of it. Mm -hmm. I have to have one of these. <laughs> Definitely, you have one of those. Yes, yeah. that's nice. Wow, it's different. Nice. Very unique, very unique. Yeah, I'm just waiting for them to uh, get done um, shopping here and get these going. All right, here we go. Yeah, so we ready? All right. Okay, so once more, you are welcome to Mukoni Big Five Safaris. My name is Nicholas, uh, the site supervisor here, and uh, I'm going to be your guide. Uh, we are going to start with the lions. Uh, we're going to have a short interaction and a short walk with the lions. Thereafter, we will switch on to the cheetah. Again, we'll have a, a short interaction and a walk with the cheetah. Okay. So, okay. before we get to meet the animals, it's very important to know as to why Mukun Big Five Safaris exist. Mukun Big Five Safaris is a project that started officially in 2009. The aim of this project was to help animals with a very small population number or animals that are vulnerable and endangered from getting into extinction so that we help them and see how best we can help them uh, stabilize the population as well as increase the population. So we are basically dealing with the lions which are among the animals that are listed in the red data book. They are vulnerable animals. We are also dealing with the cheetahs which are highly endangered species as well as the caracals. Mm -hmm. So we basically focus on animals that are found in breeding centers, mm -hmm. in zoos, mm -hmm. or animals that have been rescued from activities like poaching. Mm -hmm. When we bring them here, we interact with them up to a point where it is safe for each and every human mm -hmm. being to be so close to them. Mm -hmm. Then we take them out on walks in the bush. Taking them out on walks in the bush, it's just a way of making them get accustomed to their natural environment before they are translocated. Because where we get these animals from, 
they are not given any opportunity to explore their natural environment. Take, for example, animals that are kept in the zoos. Mm -hmm. There's no one day when they are given an, exp an, uh, I mean an opportunity mm -hmm. to be out and explore their natural habitat. So we are trying to do the opposite of what people operating zoos, for example, are doing. So when we walk them up, we walk them up until they are like three years old, mm -hmm. uh, because in the case of lions, that's the age at which they become sexually matured, and that's the age at which they are capable of fending for themselves. They are capable of hunting on their own as well as defending themselves. So we stop interactions at that age when they are three years old. And then we start observing their behavior. Eventually we translocate them into a semi-ecosystem, which is like a game reserve, nicely protected, but plenished with other game species for them to live a life that is natural. And then when they reproduce in such a, an environment, those that are born in that environment without any human contact, they are the ones that we translocate back into the natural environment. Mm. So it is done in a staged mm. way. Mm. Exactly. Mm. It is against the law to translocate an animal that has been confined or an animal that has been so close to humans, that has been interacting with humans, back straight away into its natural environment because that animal has lost the uh, human fear. So if you translocate it into an open environment, it will just be approaching any person it may come across oh, because it is already okay. used to that. That may be a danger to the uh, communities as well as a danger to the, the, to the animal itself yeah. because it can yeah. get easily shot. Yeah. Yeah. A danger to the community is that it can start hunting on human beings <clears throat> or livestock. So we do not want to create human-animal conflict. No wonder we translocate them in a staged way. And that's right. So that is basically and what we do here at Mkon Big Five Safaris. So in as much as people find it so interesting to interact with lions, interact with mm. cheetahs or caracals, mm -hmm. we always uh, tell people to bear in mind that they are just helping these animals to get uh, uh, accustomed to their natural environment. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right. So we are going to be interacting and working with six young lions, or females, <laughs> Okay. Okay. But looking bigger than their age, because lions are animals that grow very fast, especially in the first two years of their lives. Mm. They just grow very, very fast. Yeah. So uh, three of them among the six, they are one year and eight months old. The other three are one year and five months old. And for interaction, we always have to approach them from the back, avoid approaching them from the front. Okay. We call the front part of a lion as the sharp end. Because that's where it have claws, big claws, sharp yeah. claws, and the number of claws on the front legs are more than the number of claws on the back legs. No. That's where it has those big canines, so it's not safe to approach it from the front. You approach it from the back, and as you approach, it's always important to talk. Okay. Talking is just a way of announcing your presence, presence. around them, okay. otherwise they don't respond to what you say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what you say has nothing to do with them, but just the tone of your voice oh, makes them feel anything, comfortable. Gibberish. So anything uh, in any language. Uh -huh. As soon as you get behind them, if they are seated, yeah. you have to squat down quickly Got because it. dominance lies in the height. Uh -huh. So when you're standing so close to them yeah. as they are seated, they feel Thank over dominated you. and they don't <clears throat> feel comfortable like with that. Yeah. So you squat, make them feel comfortable, mm -hmm. then you can touch them. Touching has to be firm and gentle. Okay. Yeah, you can touch them, but just avoid touching them on three parts. Don't touch them on the heads. Uh -huh. A lion is a dominant cat, and its dominance is just based on the head. Wow. So you can touch a lion from the neck, the shoulders, the whole back, the belly, up to the back mm. legs. The other part you're not supposed to touch, it's the paws. It's ticklish. Uh -huh. All cats oh, feel tickled when you touch them <laughs> on the paws, <laughs> including house cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They'll yeah. either yeah. withdraw the, the, yeah. the yeah. paw like this, yeah. or they'll try to smack try to you, smack. like stop. Mm -hmm. okay. So you don't touch the paws. Don't and when it. lions are seated, they don't play with each other's tails. Okay. So we are not supposed to touch their tails when they are seated. But when they are standing, mm -hmm. they are fond of picking and playing with each, with, with each other's tails. Mm -hmm. So we do touch their tails when they are standing or walking. Okay. And that's right. Each one of you, as we meet the lions, will be given a stick. A stick will just be like an extension of your hand. Should the lion want to play with you, you don't, you don't let it play with your bare hands. You let it play with the stick. If it wants to bite, let it bite the stick, not your fingers. Otherwise, if you use your fingers, you may donate some of them to the lions. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> and that's right. And in an event that the lion wants to change its position, 
-hmm. It will either stand up or it will just uh, roll over. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, you don't have to scream, don't panic. Of course, mm -hmm. the first human instinct when the lion stands up is to run, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But that shouldn't be okay. your first option. Mm -hmm. You have to just stand up and okay. only make two steps backwards and stop. Okay. Yeah, because if you start running, you trigger the predatory yeah, instinct yeah. in the in the lion. So if you stand your ground, then the lion knows that you're not scared. You are also dominant. Okay. You just be calm. Yeah. And uh, when the lion settles, if you feel like touching it again, mm -hmm. you can go behind it. If you think you are done, you just walk away okay. and leave them. It's so, where uh, I feel. <laughs> I feel pretty good, you know. I'm not James Brown or anything, but I just feel pretty good, man. I can't. Let's see. Just a tad bit nervous, um, but stay calm. I know they can also. They smell fear. They sense fear. Yeah. So you don't want to go in and get fearful. Yeah. So kind of calm yourself. I don't think you want to have no dried uh, mukake and no uh, mm -hmm. beef jerky in your pocket when doing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Some warthog. <laughs> yeah. Some warthog. When I was little, though, lions were my favorite animal when I was five. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite animal like now? Um, I love pandas. I do. They're so funny, especially the, the baby ones. They just be rolling around everywhere, crawling around everywhere. It's funny. Mm. They have, they're very energetic. But I like pandas, of course, dogs. I still love lions, cheetahs, and all that. Thing. I think I spotted some uh, lion polar tracks. It's a pole. Oh, that is a pole. Shoe or a pole? No, that's a pole. That's a pole. It's right there. Mm. So we're headed down to where the lines are at. Yep, I've seen those poles right here. Has anybody ever been bit by a lion here? Uh, not yet. Okay. But maybe today. Maybe oh, no, today. don't say that. No, no. Like that. <laughs> there is always no. the first time in whatever happens. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. Don't wish that. Yeah, don't uh... <laughs> Yeah, I really do believe for that. Yeah. <laughs> see, no, see him. Running shouldn't be your first option. Though no, it's a human instinct to run after seeing a lion, but uh -huh. it shouldn't be your first option. The best option will be to stand your ground, face the lion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because by running, you will be giving your back to the lion. Uh -huh. And then when the lion sees your back, it will think like you have already submitted yourself. Oh, oh goodness. goodness. Yeah, so giving your back to the lion, it's a sign of submission. Mm -hmm. So even when it comes to taking photos with lions, you don't take selfies. Uh, don't because, take selfies. Yeah, because by then you'll be giving your back to them. Oh, so like, no selfies. You always have to face them. It's okay. very rare that the lion will attack from the front. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So when they look at you, they maintain out, eye right contact. Mm -hmm. like right eye contact is very... Ahead, man. My goodness, they are they big too. They are very big. They're big family. As I promised, like I'm going to give each one of you a stick. I've got my colleague Peter here with the sticks red in his hands. Mm -hmm. So please grab one from him. So he is Peter. Thank you, Peter. Okay. After having Thanks. taken a yeah. stick from Peter, you may please come and stand right yeah, in front of the lions. Okay. Yeah, don't show him your bus. I mean back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> These are the lions that you're going to be with, interact with, pause for photos with, and then give them a short walk back to the reception. But before knowing the lions, before we begin interactions, it's very important to know the people that we are meeting here. These are the people that are here to make sure we are safe and we enjoy this experience to the fullest. So you've already met Peter, Peter. Thank you so much for being here. Peter. On the other side, in a red <laughs> cap, you are meeting yeah. Christian. Christian? Hi, yeah. Hi, nice and to you. Bonface. Bonface. Hi, Bonface. Yeah. Bonface. Nice to meet so you. So these Thank are you. highly experienced guides in handling dangerous animals on foot. So you can just, for now, invest your trust in them. Good. Yes, please. <laughs> Okay, right there. Oh, okay, so you come and squat down right here. Much more than that, so you don't get to strain yourself. For you to not shake, put your knees down. You can see you shaking a little bit. Okay, then look into the cameras. If you have anything to say, Feel free to say, say anything. anything. 
Hey! Oh, <laughs> Why would you do that, man? <laughs> Please waking him up. Yeah, there you go. Why would you do that? They're very. You can tell they're sleepy. So what Boniface is doing is just right trying now. to to draw the attention of the lions so, so that they open their eyes, they look oh. awake, and when they look in the direction of the camera, they will be like they were oh. posing for the for the camera when actually not. These are animals that are not photogenic. Yeah. They don't pose for photos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're very calm. Up there. Yeah. Cut the lines. Yeah. So you can be changing your positions. You can be moving for as long as you are on the line. Just you know, shaking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> see, I love house cats. I love cats. I'm a cat lover. And I just see them as big old, like, yeah, big oversized cats. Mm -hmm. I like cats. Yeah, and they love me, so I don't know. I've always Hello. had a cat okay. at home. You then go right here. Watch yours. Jump right, jump right. You sit. Down again. <laughs> Maybe you come stand with us here. When you're walking away from them, it's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> For as long. Gotcha. Nice. Do you all want to open it? Oh, yes. Yawning. Before you, you, before you, you, you away from the front pole. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, that was cool, family. They had the lionesses were definitely <laughs> calm. They were cool. Mm -hmm. um, they said since it was warm out, they were kind of they get tired when it gets warm. So that was actually good. Yeah. Yeah. We have a couple moments when they flicking the tail or whatever, but that's you, you know you notice they calm. It could be like an insect or something like that. But I enjoyed it. That was fun. You know, that was fun. Mm -hmm. That was fun. I'd do it again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah so how did you feel your first time touching uh, a lioness? That was awesome. In fact, I want to pet lion now. No. So, <laughs> yeah. Because I always wanted to pet a lion ever since I was little. As I've said like five million times throughout this video. <laughs> they were my favorite animal when I was five. So, they're still in my top now. In fact, nice. so. Nice. Cool. So now we're off to see the cheetah. Yeah, I believe there's one cheetah we're going to pet, so we're off to that, and I'm definitely excited about this. Yeah, always uh, love cheetahs, because I like uh, cheetah print. Cheetah print is just, for some reason, I'm attracted to cheetah prints, yeah. Yeah, family. So in Goblin, you going to uh, pet the cheetah? <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh, that was nice. It was fun. Yeah, was yeah, that yeah, was I nice. The, the, oh, you saw it? Yeah, uh, I saw it. I saw it. I saw uh, I would do it again. You yeah. walking with the lion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you are very you brave. Know, no, it's yeah. not being brave. It's just it's fun. Uh-huh. 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 No, no, no. I was after Maybe I can make a mistake. You know, like, I, I, I always like doing this. Huh? <clears throat> what if I freaked out the lion? <laughs> what did you just say to me? Huh? <laughs> oh, Lick your hand and all. Yeah. yeah. Ah, you uh, can do the cheetah. Hey, you like, yeah. <laughs> we have to see the cheetahs. Yeah. Oh, I'm 
Okay, that's a little that's baby. A uh, what's, is that a cat? Look at house cat. That's a cat. <laughs> that's a house cat. That's a best cat. That's a best cat. <laughs> a cat. <laughs> they look kind of like a cheetah. Still like cats. Yeah. It's a big kitty. Is actually uh, walking the cheetah. <laughs> Lillian is happy today. I know. You're very happy today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe you leave her alone. <laughs> This, this place is, is fabulous. Thank you. Is it locally owned? Yes, it is. Yes, wow. It is. Uh, one of our, actually our director, who's Miss, uh, Mr. Senior Chief Mukuni. If anyone has, knows anything about Zambian chiefs and Zambian politics, he's one of the most popular chiefs in this country. Oh, wow. Um, he just lives down the road from here. For you guys, about maybe four miles down the road. <laughs> That's where the palace is. Um, the village is there. And you see if you see that when I say we are mostly local, mostly guys that you see around here, there's one of them right there. They live right in the village. Oh, yes, that's, that's, where, so that's their home. This mm. is bone fantastic. and bread. Because <laughs> born and but that's yeah. the beef. That is created out here. But, but uh, this is uh, our royal highness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Maybe somebody. Photo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a photo. Oh, okay. Yeah, photo. Photo. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so we want to take the time to thank Mr. Paul and Nicholas for the tour and uh, having us here today. We had a fantastic time. We know that we will be back. And we definitely recommend Mokuni Big Five Safaris. Yes. Where are we best? Livingston, Zambia. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for thank coming. Thank you. Thank you so pleasure. much. Mm -hmm. Our pleasure. Nice. Well. Having you guys around and uh, enjoy the cruise. We'll see you later on today. And okay, thank you for allowing me to play with the lion. <laughs> yeah, look at you. <laughs> we also want to thank Kateshi for uh, bringing us here as part of his uh, package you're that goes along with his villa. If you're ever in town in Livingstone, please reach out to him. He has a fantastic accommodations and uh, packages for tours here in Livingstone. Yes. Amazing. Thank you so you're much. You're most welcome, guys. I'm glad uh, to hear that you enjoyed yourself. It was a wonderful experience. Yes. yes. Um, yeah. Thanks once again, Paul. Thanks for the wonderful guide and the, the, for being so informative. Yeah. Guys, if you want to book a tour, you can do it directly with Mukuni Big Five. Or you can, when you're accommodated with us, we can always uh, uh, blink you up at uh, Pumulani Livingston, the lodge in Livingston. And uh, they can actually pick uh, pick you up from, from the lodge. So, yeah. Great stuff, guys. In Gobla for yes. bringing us all the way here to Livingstone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic time. I'm glad, I'm glad you like it. And um, uh, for, for, for me, this is very important to show you what our people are capable of doing and uh, if you really want to, to see Zambia you don't have to uh, measure things like um, uh, the, the budget of Will Smith and the other people that come <laughs> through other tour operators mm -hmm. but you can still come here and still be 
able to be accommodated on an affordable um, budget. Uh, like our, that's why I introduced you to Katishi and he introduces you to other people yeah. that nice. the same business. So. Nice. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice.